many of my colleagues throughout the country uh, still uh, look to Washington University as starting this kind of outreach from both the biology and arts and sciences and the preclinical departments in the med school to create programs that went across all these departments and to have the faculty members and administration support that in a way uh, to make it very successful. Most of our interactions are with colleagues um, outside of our own departments who share research interests. And so I collaborate with people in medicine and with people in pathology and with people in developmental biology. The success of DBBS would not be possible without the collegiality of, of all faculty members in all of these different programs. And this collegiality spreads not from just one department or two, but across all seven or eight departments in three schools. I study cell cycle and checkpoint control. And we had knocked out or disrupted a gene in mice and we were expecting a cancer phenotype and instead we got an autoimmune phenotype and I thought to myself I have not studied immunology since my first year of graduate school 20 odd years ago so we have a phenomenal immunology community here my student and I went to them and they just adopted my student he went into their labs they taught him the assays we were able to characterize this mouse and you know that doesn't happen at a lot of places. I feel that WashU as a whole is a very collaborative environment, somewhat family-like, that everybody has their door open so that you can go to them, ask many questions. If you have um, problems with assays, no, nobody turns their back to you. I came here as a population geneticist and I've worked with some of the leading neuroscientists, some of the leaders in biomarkers. I've worked with people that are, that just do straight statistical genetics. I've worked with people that just do cell biology. And I think the way DVBS is designed, it really, it really makes it possible to do integrative research that crosses those lines and brings the strengths of various people together in your project. It's a really unique um, mentoring relationship. And so when a student, you accept a student in your laboratory, I mean, you are mentoring them to become an independent investigator. We work as a team. It's not a boss-employee relationship. It really is a team where you are hoping that at the end of their stay in their lab, they are your peer. And most successful students, it's a very gratifying experience because they come in. Many of them, some have more experience than others. By the time they leave, they're reminding you of literature you haven't read, and they're telling, making suggestions that you're going, wow, what a great idea, I didn't think of that. So it really becomes you know, a mentoring relationship and then a peer-like relationship, and they're ready to then launch to the next stage. There were a number of things that drew me to DPBS. Um, some of the attractive features that I feel that WashU has is that the institution is well-funded, well-equipped, and well-respected. But besides the excellent research reputation, I feel the program is extremely student-centered. Uh, I wanted to be in a place where I felt that I would be supported and wanted, and I feel that here at WashU.